Through the years, I've noticed an increase in the amount of prosecutions for driving while intoxicated offenses. Uh, it's not that individuals are drinking more and driving, it's the uh, accent placed upon uh, the prosecution and law enforcement uh, to eliminate this type of uh, offense uh, for the protection of uh, not only the driver of the vehicle but others on the highway. Um, and as a consequence, uh, I think that it's important to focus in on what the requirements are as far as a successful uh, or the requirements for uh, a defense and the elements of uh, DWI. Uh, I'd like to talk about pretrial intervention. Uh, that is something that uh, behooves every lawyer to uh, see if he or she or his or her client uh, can qualify for pretrial intervention. It's only available for first-time offenders. Um, if uh, you have, uh, unfortunately, a DWI in your background, uh, prior to being arrested for this uh, DWI for which you stand prosecuted, you're not going to be eligible for pretrial intervention. Um, additionally, uh, pretrial intervention uh, involves uh, an individual um, taking a one year supervision, and uh, that individual must report to a probation officer at least once a month. Um, additionally, that individual must complete 16 hours of community service um, and uh, it's uh, important, obviously, that um, the amount of alcohol in your system uh, is below 0.15. The legal limit, as indicated, is 0.08. Um, there can't be any accident. Uh, an individual also has the ability uh, from 15 days from the date of arrest to request an ALR hearing. That is for the purpose of uh, keeping your license uh, uh, once your license has been taken away uh, as a result of the DWI arrest. Um, it's important to uh, make certain that uh, the uh, any uh, aftermath or any additional uh, offenses that uh, might arise as a result of a DWI, uh, for instance, drugs in the car, um, uh, an accident, someone's injured, um, that this all goes back to the issue of probable cause to pull you over. Um, and the officer must accentuate uh, the probable cause to believe that you are driving impaired uh, on the streets and highways. Uh, of uh, this city, state, and obviously the, the, the country.